success welcome to my youtube channel if you're new here <laughs> you're welcome to the heart dog vlog i'm so excited to have you here and i want to let you know that you are in the right place okay and if you've not subscribed and you're watching kindly do the need for by hitting the red subscribe button it's been a while here i'm always saying it's been a while not my fault school activities and so on anyways yeah just let you know please and please ignore the background there's nothing i can do i've tried but all the best possible to ensure that i do something around but there's nothing i can do so you guys will have to be here with me and set it like this okay for my the professionals i have in the house <laughs> i really tried my best honestly yesterday i went to the market see if i can get something but nothing plus there's no money <laughs> honestly all right so guys kindly accept the background once again i'm saying a big shout out to my new subscribers in the house god bless you all for coming around and for tuning into the heart of vlog i so much appreciate you okay thank you back to the real thing okay so as you've seen in the caption below we'll be talking about disappointment today i'm gonna be very real here because it's something that we've all been through i've been through it I used to tell people like whenever I'm saying and you know trying to encourage I'll let them know that No one is perfect like what I mean by no one is perfect is that No one has it all smooth Everyone encounters as far as you're existing on this earth You encounter one thing or the other and so what I'm doing today is to Bring out words of encouragement. I know you've heard it over and over again But for you to tune into this channel I feel like God has a word for you today okay so tune in and be blessed every one of us have planned one or two things and we have visualized our path to success we've put in countless efforts and hard work and we've poured our heart and our soul in achieving our dreams but then in a sudden twist disappointment comes crushing down like an unexpected thunderstorm it's an all too familiar feeling one that can leave us feeling shattered, question our purpose, and leaving us with a question with if we can ever rise again. Disappointment, my friends, is an unwelcome guest that visits us all at some point in our lives. Disappointment comes in various forms, loss of opportunity, failed endeavors, shattered dreams. But here's the thing, speaking to yourself and I, disappointment is not the end of the journey. It's just a detour on the road to success. Honestly, it's easier being said than done. <laughs> so, in this episode of The Heart Dog, we will join to the stories of those who have faced profound disappointment and how they emerged as triumphant heroes. Get ready to rewrite the narrative of your own story. First, we'll be looking at a key character here, Ben Carson. Ben Carson faced a number of disappointments throughout his life, but he has managed to overcome them and achieve success through a few key strategies. First, I would mention here is academic challenges. Growing up in a poor community with a single mother who had limited education, Carson faced academic difficulties in his early school years. He struggled with poor grades and was often placed at the bottom of his class. However, he developed a love for reading and eventually thrived academically. Overcoming this disappointment, he graduated high school with honors and went on to become a highly accomplished neurosurgeon. Another disappointment recorded was racial discrimination. As an African American, Carson experienced racial discrimination throughout his life. He faced challenges and disappointments, including being told by multiple individuals that he could never become a doctor due to his race. Cassie's perseverance, determination, and strong self-belief allowed him to rise above these setbacks and prove his capabilities, ultimately becoming renowned in his field. He also faced political disappointments. Throughout his life, Ben Carson has shown resilience, perseverance, and the ability to learn from disappointments. Despite facing numerous challenges, he overcame them by staying focused on his goals, remaining determined, 
and using setbacks and opportunities for growth and further success. Another key character we will consider today is Nick Vujicic. The world is challenging enough, but what if you were forced to navigate that world without your limbs? Nick Vujicic, who suffers from the rare disorder of Ocomelia, did just that and turned this obstacle into a limitless opportunity for outreach and exploration. He lives by the motto, attitude determines your ability to succeed. And I put a question to you today, what's your motto? I'll face disappointment in life and I'm still facing disappointment. <laughs> Honestly, like I'm being real with you guys. Disappointment from people that you never even think it would come from that end and that's just life for you. Disappointment can put you in a dark place that you sometimes think to have been buried. But at the same time, disappointment can bring blessings. A few days ago, I was scrolling through social media and I came across a very interesting story. That was um, a story between um, Archbishop Irahosa and Miles Moore. I don't know if I pronounced the names correctly. So it was said that Archbishop was um, invited to invited as a guest at a program and not that in the diaspora actually or abroad <laughs> okay and so the whole guests were waiting for him somehow the flight was cancelled it like it, it was not possible for him to attend the program anymore and they were all you know like when you've been waiting for someone like let's say you invited a guest i think i've experienced this before like you invited a guest to come show up in your show in your program okay like invited the guests to come show up in your program and then you already have the hope i know at times when you invite guests it tends to draw multitude so a lot of multitude media personnel were around to capture the whole event and he failed not like he failed but the flight was cancelled and so there was someone in the audience who was miles more and somehow somehow they met him and then they told him to come like speak on to come represent and actually he came up and he spoke on purpose and that was the breaking moment or like that was the outbreaking or <laughs> i don't know how to put the words but that was the mom at that moment from that moment rather that was when miles murray was known like he became global he became global so at times disappointments can pave way for blessings the truth is, we have to learn how to get over disappointments, move on and let it go. I actually feel like this disappointment happens most to people who are just starting up. Probably you're starting up a business or a ministry or something, something, you're just starting up somewhere, right? And the expect that you will need people to come, you know, like assist, help, cheer you up and so on. Disappointment comes, can just come in, like when you're seeking for a helping hand, can get disappointment like delayed proposals or even rejected proposals actually so disappointment can happen to anyone regardless of your status regardless of who you are you can feel disappointed but don't give up when it comes don't give us you would feel down if i feel like god why me see that you're not even with me in this thing i'm doing but i'm here to encourage you the way i encourage myself is don't give up move up raise up yourself get up and Interestingly, if you look at our Bible, we have a key character who experienced disappointment but he came out successfully. I would encourage you to go read 1 Samuel chapter 30. Yes, go read 1 Samuel chapter 30. You would see that David experienced disappointment and still, the Bible is recorded that he encouraged himself in the Lord. And after he did that, we saw what happened, right? victory he emerged triumphant so that's the same thing i would say to myself and to you also that whenever we are faced with disappointment we should encourage ourselves in the lord that's not the end of life that the best way to overcome disappointment i think is to allow god's words suit us and reset us that's just the best way you know i was in church on Thursday, and pastor was saying Oftentimes we are faced with difficulties, with challenges, and we just forget that we have the Bible close to us. Like, we just neglect the place of God. We don't even remember that the Bible is there. So, I would say when we are passing through difficulties, through disappointments, let the Bible suit you. Let the Bible reset you. The moment you read God's word, the Bible, everything about, like, you just get yourself. 
I would also say we should allow friends pray for us. It depends on the kind of friends you have and the kind of circle you keep. Because most times, whenever I, whenever I feel disappointed, I have a friend. Okay, I have a friend in Jesus, I know. But then, God also uses man, right? So, I have someone that I can just like call and then, this is what I'm going through right now. I feel disappointed. I had already planned that this was going to work out fine as I expected. But then, it's not working out as I expected. I'll cry out my heart and then I'll get comforted and then pray and the friend in, in, in turn pray with me so it depends on the kind of friends you have so whenever you feel disappointed let out your emotions and i think is pray for yourself very very important pray for yourself because you also have to make efforts to make things work right it's important that we pray for ourselves because if you see first samuel 35 to 6 you would see that uh, david encouraged himself in the lord that was the noting that he actually prayed like he comforted himself so of course no friends will pray for you you need comforters but at the same time you also need to go on your knees and pray like when things are not working out as you expect i know it's not easy as it's easier said than done, right but at the same time one thing i always do is god like one of my prayer requests is lord jesus please strengthen my faith renew my faith renew my faith like that has been my prayer in fact this past week my prayer has just been god renew my faith god for me to for me to even show up here <laughs> guys you know a lot of persons don't know what happens happen in the background so that's one of the prayer i usually pray lord please encourage me strengthen my faith and i would also encourage you to also pray that prayer where you feel down where you feel disappointed like it's so crazy i would say yes it's crazy because and it's annoying like let's say you've planned this already and then you already have this hope that ah, this is going to work out the way i expect it to work out and thing just goes nuts or goes out you know it's so discouraging so at that point all you do is encourage yourself in the lord and pray that the lord strengthen your faith and also read the bible the best book to read is the bible the best book to read is the bible thank you so much for tuning in and watching this short hesitation please i want you to encourage me by liking by commenting and also by sharing this content god bless you see you next i don't want to say see you next because i don't know when next time we appear but god helping me god helping me i'll try to be consistent god helping me anyways share this content to your friends you don't know who you would help in it may not be of help to you but it may be of help to someone out there so do well by sharing this content god bless you so much and see you next bye